So this is problem 3.9 .9 of Sadiko. So determine IB. IB is here using nodal analysis. So because we will use nodal analysis, we will use KCL. And I will name this node as node A, this node as node B, and this node here as node C. Now the central of this problem is at node B, so we will start from that and I will set this node here as ground. Okay, so we have KCL at node B. Okay, let's write that. Uh, and I will assume that the current here is going here and the current there is going there the current here is going there and it will continue here and the current here is the same as the current here because uh, it's series circuit and we will have this one the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out the current that goes in only IB so AB is VA VA is 24 minus VB minus VB divided by 250 and that is equal to the current that goes out here VB divided by 50 plus now we have this current and I will use this one because it is much easier than this one to derive. So I will have VC divided by this is 150. Okay, now multiply both sides by 50. 50, so we have 24 minus VB divided by 5 and then this is VB and we will have VC of 3 and then we will multiply both sides by 15 so we will have 72 minus 3 VB is equal to this is 15 15 VB plus 5 VC 5 VC and let's do some math to simplify this we will have 18 VB plus 5 VC is equal to 72. So let's save this as equation number 1. We, we have two variables here, so we need one more equation. Uh, and let's see what we have in the circuit. So I can see something that we can do here. Look at node, node B and node C. There is voltage source here voltage source so we will have voltage source VBC is equal to 60 times IB okay this one is good so VBC is basically the difference between node B and not C the voltage difference between not B and not C so we can write that as VB minus VC and we have 60 times IB okay IB what is IB IB is here and that is equal to this this part of this equation so I will just write it again 24 minus VB divided by 250 and 
Now we need to do some math again. Vb minus Vc is equal to this number minus 60 Vb of uh, 250. Okay, we can we can divide uh, the numerator and denominator by ten. So we have we will have Vb minus Vc is equal to one hundred and forty four minus six Vb. Then we have to be consistent with capital B here. It's also capital B. This is capital B divided by 25. Now multiply both sides by 25. 25 VB minus 25 VC is equal to. This one minus six Phoebe. Is it correct? Okay, we will check later. So let's move this one into left side and we will have thirty one Phoebe minus twenty five. Vc is equal to 144. Now this is question number two. And now we have two equation with two variables to solve, and we will solve that. So we have equation one and equation two here. We need to solve this. And this one I saw 25 and this one I saw 5 so I will try to cancel that out so I multiply this equation by 5 and this one I just copy it so multiply it by 1 and 18 times 5 is 90 90 VB plus that one is 25 25 VC and 72 times 5 is 360 and this one I just leave it alone Vp minus 25 Vc is equal to 144 and I will need to add these two equation and 90 plus 31 is 121 Phoebe so and that's equal to 405 504 volt and we will have Phoebe Okay, we will need to divide this, but not by hand, but by calculator. So, what it is? 400, 504 divided by this number. And it's equal to, what is this one? 4.165. One six five volt. Okay, and then what? What else to do next? Uh, this number. This is not what we need to find. We need to find IB. So IB is equal to. That number 
4.5 minus so this is Phoebe minus that one that is 24 and divide it by 250 was it so let's calculate that 4.165 minus 24 that's equal to that one and divide that by 250 and okay I got that number minus 0 0.07 934 ampere or oh, I just convert it to milliampere so I multiply this by 1000 and I will get minus 79.34 milliampere and this is IB this is IB and this is our final answer Okay, thank you for watching and hope this helped.